Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at some more Jimi Hendrix rhythm things, but this video is going to be looking at minor chords. We're going to be taking a minor chord and I'm going to be showing you how you can apply some of the stuff from other videos that we've looked at and also a bunch of new licks specific to minor chords. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. In this video then, we're going to look at some more Hendrix rhythm stuff. Now, I absolutely love this style of playing, but before I get into the video, if you haven't done it already, make sure that you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that alert bell so you don't miss any updates. Everything that I go through in this lesson, you'll find a PDF workbook with all the tab and notation in the description below, so make sure that you get hold of that. But let's get stuck in. We are going to be learning licks based off our... E root or E shape bar chord. Now that's A minor. So the entire video is going to be based in A minor, but that chord is either known as the E root bar chord or the E shape minor bar chord, okay? And this is the sort of thing that we're going to be doing. Okay, that sort of vibe, that very Hendrixy style rhythm playing. Now, if you've seen the other videos, the links are all in the description below where we've looked at major chords and major shapes and playing licks. A lot of these are exactly the same thing. We're just gonna be playing them on a minor chord. So, every major key has what's known as a relative minor key and every minor key has what's known as a relative major key. In simple terms, it's seven notes and whether we're starting on one, it's gonna give us a major chord or a major scale and whether we're starting on another one, it's going to give us a minor scale or a minor chord. That's a very simple explanation, but essentially that's kind of what we're doing. So, what we're gonna be looking at, we're going to be looking at things in A minor. Now, the relative major to A minor is C. So, all the stuff that you've learned previously either in C or with the other shapes if you transfer that to C major it will work over your A minor things now often guitarists always solo in a minor pentatonic and this is why you can get away with using minor pentatonics over major chords by using what's known as the relative major and minor but I'm not going to go into that in too much detail because this video is about Hendrix stuff so all I'm getting at is all the major stuff you've learned if you've watched my other videos on the major chords you can use just make sure you play them in the right place okay so they all will work over this minor chord which is what we're gonna look at first lick number one is something we've done in another video and sounds like this <laughs> Okay, so that is when we looked at this A shape. That's one of the licks we've played. Now, it will work over C major, but it will also work over A minor. Now, the reason why that is, there's our A minor shape, and you can see that lick falls straight underneath that bar chord. And the good news is, under that bar chord, we have A minor pentatonic scale. Position number one, everyone's favorite scale to jam on. And we can do double stops on that scale, any notes. And it's gonna sound amazing over an A minor chord. And that's where lick number one comes from. It's exactly as we've done in another video, but essentially we're just playing notes from that A minor pentatonic position one, or notes that are underneath that bar chord. So here's lick number one again. Okay, so if you've watched the first video, you'll see that lick. So let me just play that a few times. I'll do it slowly first and then a bit faster. So I'm starting with a bar across the fifth fret on the D and the A strings, hammering on to the seventh fret onto the A string. Then I'm playing a bar across the G and the D, and I'm doing a hammer on to the seven and a pull off back to five. So. And again. And let's just do that a little bit faster. And then to finish the lick off, we do a bar across the, in the fifth fret across the A and the D, and hammer on to the seventh fret on the A. And when you resolve the chord with the end of the lick back to that, you can hold the bar down across the fifth fret all the way up to the B if you want to. 
day, but certainly normally when I do this, I'm doing double stops, which are two strings at once. And that's lick number one. Let's move on. This is lick number two. Okay, another one from another video, but with, again, we're thinking of these in relation to A minor this time, this shape. Okay, so that lick, we start off with a bar across the 5th fret on the G and the D. Hammer onto the 7th on the G and pull off again. And then we do the, keep the bar exactly where it is, but we're going to hammer onto the 7th on the D and pull off. And then we're just going to finish that lick in exactly the same way that we did with lick number one by placing a bar in the fifth fret across the D and the G and the A and then hammering down onto the seventh fret on the A string. The entire lick then. Nice and slow. And a bit faster. Okay, so that's lick number two. Let's move on. Here is lick number three. Okay, so if you've seen the video number three, that's a lick straight out of that video as well. So we're going to start off. Again, it's all in that A minor, A minor pentatonic. We're going to start off with the fifth fret on the low E. We're going to bar the fifth fret on the E and the A, then play the eighth fret. So we're basically just moving up a pentatonic scale. Then a bar across the A and the D. So let me just do that much slowly. Okay, so after we've done that then, we're going to play that again and the hammer onto the seventh on the A and pull off. So that much so far, nice and slowly. And one more time. And then we're going to finish the lick by playing the eighth fret on the low E. So let me just play all of that lick. Bit faster. Okay, but again, we're thinking of these in relation to A minor. So if I play A minor. You can hear how great it sounds along with that. So what I'm going to do in a bit, once I've done the last lick, I'm going to jam some chords and play these all these licks together. So let's move on then. Here's another lick. This is lick number four. So this is something quite similar to what Hendrix plays in the song Little Wing. The lick is nearly identical and we're actually going to step outside the minor pentatonic for this. We're going to play the ninth fret on the D string as well as some pentatonic notes, okay? So we are going to move slightly outside it, but it's such a great sounded lick I wanted to include it in this video. So we're going to start off, you're going to play the seventh fret on the D and the fifth fret on the G, but we're going to hammer on to the ninth fret on the D so you get this sort of sound. So it's a little bit of a clash because we're actually playing the semitone apart with this double stop. But when you play it in the lick, it just sounds so nice. And then we're going to go back to the seventh fret on the D. So. so it does sound quite tense because, like I said, we're playing a semitone apart and we're getting a bit of a clash. But when you put it in context with some other notes, it just sounds so, so good. So let me just go through that again. So we're going to play hammer from the seventh to the D and it's a fast hammer on whilst holding down this fifth fret note on the G string back to the seventh fret little bar in the fifth fret across the D and the G and then the seventh fret on the A string now when Hendrix plays Little Wing he actually plays the eighth fret but the reason why I've chose to move us to the seventh fret is because I'm trying to keep everything in relation to an A minor he does it over a different chord and that's why I sort of stole the lick and just put it in here <laughs> And then to finish the lick off, we're doing it exactly as we did at the beginning with licks one and two. It's that hammer on from the fifth fret across the A, the D, and hammering on to the seventh fret on the A string. So. And really slow. Okay, now with that stretch, you can stretch it like this if you prefer or you can use your middle finger or your third, it's completely up to you. Okay, and that is lick number four. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna jam around an A minor chord, play a bunch of these licks, and you can kind of see how they all fit in with the sound of the chord. Here we go. Three, four.
Okay, so that was me just jamming around an A minor chord. Of course, you can put these licks into songs. So for example, let's say I had a chord sequence which went A minor, F, C and G. We can place these minor licks over the A minor chord and place some of the other ones over some of the other chords if you've watched the other videos. So I'm just going to jam around those for a sec and just show you how that sounds. So we get this sort of thing. Three, four. Okay, so that was just me jamming around the chords, you know, just playing a bunch of the stuff I've showed you in this video and the other videos. If you liked that video, click like if you haven't done it already. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that alert bell so you don't miss any updates. There's a bunch of links in the description below. A link to the workbook with the tab notation, a link to the other lessons so you can learn how to do this on the major stuff. Plus, there's a link to my online guitar school, fretlicks.com, where there's courses, lessons, we do live streams, we have a community, all to help you become a better guitarist. I hope you enjoyed that video and I look forward to seeing you again soon.